So what exactly is this whole Tom thing that we saw in both the settings and also the documentation here with the tabular object model in its hierarchy? So if we look in the diagram, we can see obviously our model here at the very top, uh, kind of data source. So if we think about like our get data process, and then uh, Power Query, and then obviously the tables, all the different things that are kind of associated with our tables, such as the columns, uh, any measures that are stored within, uh, hierarchies, and then just additional metadata, so just annotation. Uh, also a relationship, maybe role, so thinking like role level security, uh, so here with like role membership, and then also annotations, just additional metadata about your model. But let's go ahead and start extracting some of this metadata out of our Tom, so our tabular object model. Here within Power BI Desktop, navigate to the external tools and then select tabular editor. We're gonna see our fun little prompt here, just giving us a warning about the experimental features. Yes, that's fine, I've already made a copy, so press okay. And then on your local machine, go ahead and create a folder called sales demo, uh, just anywhere you'd like. And then this will be where we can go ahead and extract out our metadata and just land it here in this folder. Uh, just if we want any type like version history or kind of CI, CD pipelines. So now let's do the file save to folder. And then we're going to point to this sales demo folder. So just select the parent, select folder. And then if we navigate into this now, awesome. So our tables, like we were just talking about from the Tom, our roles, relationships. Just being able to, if I was to click in there, awesome, all the different tables. Uh, keep in mind, this is not the data, this is just the underlying metadata. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump back over to Tabular Editor, and we're gonna do a file, and we're gonna do a save as this time. And we can see the model.bim file name, uh, and then the file type is the tabular model file, so the .bim. It's gonna be the most important file, uh, kind of your process here. So let's go ahead and press save. On this now, if we navigate over, and I'm gonna right click this and just look at it here with VS Code, but you can use any notepad or text editor you'd like. And then uh, within VS Code, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll back up here to the top, and I can see that the structure here is just an underlying JSON. So just the JavaScript object notation, I can see the compatibility level here of my model, the current language and culture of the TOM, so think about that, my tables, uh, what are some other things here within my town? So maybe roles, so I can see role level security. I've got a Florida sales rep. Uh, also maybe looking for relationships. Let's go ahead and type that in. Keep typing, press enter. Awesome, so the underlying metadata here about my relationships. So knowing that this is a JSON body, why is Tabwriter so great? It allows us to go ahead and write to this model.bim, this underlying JSON structure without having to do it manually. Just having a graphical user interface. I love it, it's fantastic, so let's continue.